this is a conspiracy. Ooh. How are you going? So, reacting to change. Now, throughout the series, I have changed my appearance. Updated. Is this appearance offending anyone? Has anyone been offended of my demon-esque, devilish look? Have I offended anyone because I don't believe in God? There is a God I believe in. Anubis. I love Egypt. See? I love the culture. I love the history. I love many of the films. You know, The Mummy. You got the original with Boris Karloff, inspired by the discovery of King Tut's tomb. Then you got the 90s one with Brendan Fraser. Then you got its sequel. Then you got its crappy sequel. Then you got a cartoon TV series. And then you got the crappy reboot. But yeah, Anubis, he's my god. Does that offend anyone? You know, it doesn't matter what race you are. You Like, Anubis is an Egyptian god. Some people think you have to be an Egyptian to worship gods. No, you don't. And those same people think you have to be from Jerusalem to worship Jesus. No, you don't. Doesn't matter who you are. So, yeah, that's the God I worship. And all the metal gods out there. Ozzy Osbourne, Rob Halford, Dio, Corey Taylor. Um, who's another? Well, Dimebag Daryl. Rest in peace. Dio, rest in peace. Um, does that offend anyone that I called metal musicians gods? Well, they are. Sure, metal uses a whole lot of satanic stuff. It's for power and strength and protection. Black Sabbath, they all wear crucifixes for protection. Tom Array of Slayer, he's a Catholic. Yet many Slayer imagery is satanic and many lyrics. Uh, satanic. Slayer has offended people. The uh, West Bureau Baptist Church went to picket Jeff Hanneman's funeral. They didn't show up because they're afraid. Oh, I probably offended them. So what? Now, Allen's Lollies, an iconic brand of many great treats. They're changing the name of Redskins and the little chocolate babies called Chico's. Well, some people are against it and they're boycotting Allen's. So if you're gonna change Redskins, might as well change Big Red. And the drink, also called Big Red. No, nope. another thing, Oreos. From what I've heard, Oreo is a term for a white person acting as a black person. No one's up in arms about this. Is cookies and cream a symbol of equality? Sure, it's like the yin yang. I twisted it. I ain't gonna lick it. You can like. And yeah, this episode is either gonna dunk or rise. That's where the world is today. Like, yeah, so what about the Chico roll? 
it's a staple of takeaway, so are they going to change the name of that? You know, they're changing everything. Like, um, well, Disney came under fire. And speaking of fire, you might, might as well change the name of Red Jafar. Why didn't they just call him Genie Jafar? Oh look, Red Jafar. Change that as well. Because that may offend people. Aladdin, when it was released, did offend people. So they changed it, altered it, as Disney does. Well, because of this little guy. Oh no, I split Mickey in two. Does that offend anyone? That probably pronoun that probably promotes animal abuse. There was a... Alright, I need to cool down. What's a good way to cool down? Ice cream. Many years ago, there was an ice cream called White Pointer. It was the shape of a shark with a print of a shark. It doesn't exist anymore. Oh, maybe that had people think, oh, they're eating a shark. Let's go hunt and kill sharks. Yeah, whatever happened to that? Don't go finning me. I... I'm offended. See, Sharky's offended. Then there was warp ice cream. It was shaped like a wave. That doesn't exist anymore. Oh, maybe offend scary is my alter ego. Offended people with a split personality. Z. So if they gotta change names of everything, uh why not change Vegemite? It might be offensive to people who are mentally handicapped. Because of that term, divulgative term, they're called veggies. Now, I'm just using that as a point. You got veggie might. You get where I'm going here? What about the golden gay time? That hasn't been changed. Has that been brought up? That might offend the LGBTQTI community. What about this one? Everyone has a skeleton in their closet. And I just came out. Oh, that must mean I'm gay. Well, here's a plot twist to you. I'm not. Oh, I've probably offended the LGBTQTI community. Look. I respect them, okay? But I'm just making some points here. And anyone who makes a point, they either offend or they awaken people. Now there's so much going on, hence why I've got all this content going. So. It's so much. Now, what have you learned out there? I'm not overly religious. This may offend Christians, Buddhists, Jehovah's Witnesses, the Jewish, and other people because I I can't think of so many other religions oh I'm not mentioning every religion I must have offended someone people just focus too much on the negative these days 
Focus on the positive. Be happy. Of course, it's hard for some people to be happy because they may be suffering depression, severe heartbreak. Well, just rest and get better. Depression is hard. And it's depressing times. With COVID going on, the riots and the protests. You know, um, have I scared anyone? Are you scared? Scare you later.